Good morning, viewers and family, friends. Let's see who we got. We have possibly Japan, India, Mexico, Bangladesh, uh, Russia, USA, and this morning, not a cake. What I have here is actually I have a cup and a quarter of sugar I have a half cup of butter and two eggs I got ahead of myself a little bit for you because this does take a little bit of time especially if you consider the fact that doing banana bread the best way is make sure those bananas have actually really really ripened you might think that yeah they just yellow no no you gotta let them go get the dark little spots and basically get really really soft so banana bread generally the recipe that I go with asks for a cup and a half of mashed ripe bananas okay <clears throat> now I am doing a variation whereas <laughs> I'm doing a banana cherry bread and I actually the other day bought a couple of pounds of cherries they were not pitted so I had to spend an hour and pit the cherries which I did see what I do for you folks well alright so I'm hoping that the ratio that I'm gonna go with is going to work out pretty good I did have three ripe bananas that gave me roughly one cup of my cup and a half that I needed I took Oh, let me take a guess. Uh, it was two thirds of a cup of those pitted cherry halves that I had there. That actually gave me a half a cup. So I have a cup and a half for my mixture. And I am going to put that all right there I have added one teaspoon of vanilla extract I did use organic myself so that's how that goes now although the recipe that I have asks for a half a cup of buttermilk I don't care for buttermilk and I'm not going to go out and buy it in whatever quantity because I seriously doubt if they have it in half cup quantities or even cup quantities I don't have a call for it hardly ever at all <laughs> I think this is the only thing on my little repertoire that I use so I'm going to Add that half cup of regular milk, which is what I use. And on the whole, there we are. Now, alright, I have that in there, and I already have my dry, which has salt, flour. All right, I have to give you the scoop on that. And I have in here, I have one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of salt, and two and a half cups of flour. But I'll wait until I get this all mixed up. I thought I had 
everything all lined up, but not quite. It's, it's early yet. Still working. I'm trying to get as many points as I can in the assignment, even though I am technically I don't have to do anything this week or next week, but and I will pass. But uh, this one's a 250 point out of the thousand. So I am going to see how many I can get on that. It's going to be anywhere from seven, seven to eight pages. seven to eight pages and it's basically pitching the idea of putting a new product into a company and having them start that and trying to tell them how good it's going to be for their revenues and net profits and all of that good stuff. All right, and let me see, I've already greased the bottom of my loaf pan. And I've set the oven, it's already preheating to 350. Okay. Now you can add nuts if you wish or any of the little fruit. Some people would. I don't know about that myself. Depends. I had thought about adding a little bit of uh, pineapple or coconut extract into that. Those are always things that you can do. It's totally up to you, whatever flips your boat, but all right, we will put in our dries and get that going. Uh, I try and, man, I tr definitely try. What I did do one mix up once before and I don't know if anybody has not done one that gives you those catastrophe type of uh, outcomes or definitely outcomes you're not looking for certainly won't make you rich and famous, that's for sure. But uh, at one point in time, I, it was probably a little over a year ago, I forgot to add the baking powder or baking soda. Uh, either way, I mean, I want to make sure I give you the right thing because if you don't Add the baking soda, it's baking soda. I have both up in my cupboard and they don't get used an awful lot, but they are definitely items you do not want to forget. If you forget them, or at least on the baking soda on this one, if you forget it, you're gonna end up with a very, very small loaf as far as it's not going to rise very well. My coffee is getting a little tepid.
get some of those dry ingredients off of the side. I don't really want to uh, get a big spray up. Huh? Make sure you uh, don't do any cross contamination with some of your ingredients. That's why clean my the majority depends on what I am making and what I'm dealing with. But uh yes I uh supposedly am going to be or I will I've actually done the video training and Monday I will be working with another co-worker and starting some hands-on in the meat department. Not doing the actual cutting of any meat that I am aware of. What I will be doing from my understanding is working primarily on the rotisserie chicken. The whole birds as well as uh, portions that they run out. Alright, let's pick up, uh, grab the bread pan. And bread pan. Okay, not to be confused with a bed pan. <laughs> Alright, sorry about that. Yeah, it's still early. It's uh, 20 minutes past 5 in the morning. You know, some people, that they don't realize there are two 5 o'clock in the morning. And those are the ones who uh, wait till the sun gets warm before they get up. Alright. Yes, the uh, blackberry mango butterscotch. I have a lot of good reviews on that at work. And those who were able to actually do the taste test, my <laughs> in house market tasters. I have yet to have anybody say that they did not care for them. Although I do have a couple that did not care to partake with certain ones. I have somebody who's, let, let's do the PC correct verbiage here. We'll call it mint phobic. So, um, person in question does not care for mint flavor. So, I told her she was mint phobic. cup or um, the equivalent or what I used was three very ripe bananas about two-thirds of a cup to give me a half a cup of pitted sweet cherries and it is now 522 <clears throat> Set that in there, such as that. 522. I'm gonna set it initially for an hour, and then I'll double check my own records to see 
what uh, I'm looking at for possible times, but I know that uh, once it does come out, I have other people who bake who stand very firmly that let it cool for 24 hours before you even take it out of the pan. I, I, I generally don't do that because I, <laughs> I have a tendency to have people that want it then and now. Well, all right, but that's a general rule of thumb. It should, or it's been said that it's best if you leave it alone. Don't even take it out of the thing. Put it on a cooling rack, but don't take it out of the pan for an hour. All right, we'll see you when it comes out, and I'll give you a real short. All right, take care. Enjoy the weekend, and look forward to the upcoming week.